Hello, in this video I will take a look at Prefecture Pikeman. I'm Super Kitovets and I hope you will find it useful. Prefecture Pikemen are a silver era unit which can be found in the infantry unit tree. They have a bunch of upgrades there, all increasing their damage. And damage is very important for them, because as a shock troop they are all about their charge. As for veterancy, there is only one viable choice and it's the bottom line. It greatly increases charge damage, improves its cooldown and adds unit days on hit. I play them with the top line to check if there are any hidden advantages, but I don't think that's the case. As I mentioned earlier, they are all about their charge and with the top line it's just weaker. As for doctrines, nothing fancy here. I went for full damage, including breakthrough and assassination, and also a charge cooldown reduction. As a pike unit without brace, they don't have much choice here. Keep in mind that prefecture pikes used to be a terrible unit. Their charge was killing warlords with ease, but was completely ineffective against enemy troops. And you don't see many players running around waiting to be charged, so yeah. The buff they got in Season 8 was well deserved. What changed? Let me read the patch notes. They have improved their charge skill, tuning its speed and hitbox. And they added a new passive, free battles. It boosts their charge and they will now launch a series of attacks together following a charge. Here you can see how it looks. After charge they do a few attacks, each with increased damage. Thanks to that, they kill enemy units much more easily. However, for some reason it's inconsistent. Sometimes they do more strong attacks than they are supposed to and sometimes some of them don't register. It looks like they can be dazed as they finish the charge, which makes them freeze for a second. It can be clearly seen on this clip. You can also see closely how the passive works. First few hits deal around 3000 damage each. Another thing to keep in mind is that they are still bad against shields, so don't waste charge on that. They have very small block break, so even the weakest shield units can soak most of their charge. In conclusion, their charge is much more effective against units now, but still has some issues. You should avoid charging into shields and be wary of CC capabilities of your opponent. I found that when a fight breaks out, it's best to wait a bit so that there is more chaos, formations are more loose and enemy warlords move to the front line. Other than that, you should charge from the flank or focus on unshielded units. Fortunately, you should be able to find some of them without much problem. I will present you some clips which show how prefecture pikes perform when charging into berserkers. I also have a clip of a head-on collision with Langsknecks. Note that my prefecture pikes weren't at max level there. It was not bad for a unit that used to be useless against enemy troops. Next topic is their formations. They don't have brace, so for general movement and positioning there isn't much difference. But when it comes to charging, you should go for a wedge most of the time. In the wedge, charge skill changes to push of pike. Keep in mind that it can be executed only when they are in the proper formation, so sometimes ability will be disabled and it can be frustrating. The thing is, it deals a lot more damage. I'm not sure if it's intended or they messed up something when buffing the charge. Only situation when you shouldn't use it is when there is an open battlefield with scattered warlords and units. It's better to go with line or loose formation in that case. 
You can cover more ground and it should be still enough to kill or heavily damage your enemies. To wrap things up, in my opinion, Prefecture Pikes are now a decent B tier unit. For sure there are better options and I wouldn't recommend them to any players. However, as I played them I had a few hero kills and 30 unit kills on the average. I consider it not bad for a blue unit. They are also decent at killing berserkers so it's a big plus. I believe that if issue with them freezing for a second after the charge would be fixed, they would be a very solid unit. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you would like to see more, please subscribe. See you next time.